I was just browsing around the, the web and I came across something that changes the, the MOTD on your FreeBSD box when you log in. When you log into FreeBSD, you get this MOTD message of the day. And it's quite generic and a bit boring. This changes it. Okay, so why don't we get logged into my box and I'll show you what I mean by MOTD. There we go. That's it. Let me just change the settings on that so it's a bit bigger. There we go. So this is the, the generic MOTD that you get when you log into FreeBSD. And it's a bit, what's the word? Boring. Boring. There's a lot of information there that, you know, if you're logging into SSH on FreeBSD, you probably already know. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install a piece of software that changes it up a little bit for us. Not as this user, we're not. So let's log in as root. I could use sudo or do as, but I'm not going to. I don't like using those tools really. Okay, so package install, and it is called dynamic MOTD. There it is. This is gonna be a really short one. That's what she said. So we've got that installed. And we just literally follow these examples. So let's have a quick look at the sample. There we go, that's all it does. And let's do what it says. Probably need to turn off the old MOTD. And the last one, which is to start it. Okay, so let's take a look at our rc.conf to see what that's actually done. Yeah, there you go, it's, probably should have done that the other way around. So there we go, what it's doing is turning off the system basic MOTD and installing and setting the dynamic MOTD to yes. Now, because I've already started it, I should be able to just log into it and get my new one. Oh, <laughs> must have forgot something. Uh, what did I forget? Hmm, I must have forgotten something. Let me, yeah, that's what I forgot. Right, <laughs> let's do that then. So. We're going to copy the example over to the one we want, and then we're going to copy MOT sub R to where we want it. Let's restart the service. Okay, let's try logging in and seeing what we get. Interesting. Still not getting what I thought I would get. Why am I not getting that? <laughs> Why is it things never go how you think they're going to go? Okay, let's reboot. Almost finished rebooting. Okay. See, it's different. It's actually different. And why is it different? Now, while this information is actually handy, there is something that's still not quite right. I'm going to have a quick look at my own server because it doesn't look like this at all. Right, that's interesting. Yeah, that's weird. Hmm. Something's gone a bit strange there. Okay. So if I go to, let's go to user local etc and let's rm motd sub r and then let's rm rc dot motd and the sample. Now. Okay, quick reboot. It's not doing what I thought it was gonna do. <laughs> and I don't know why. Okay, let's try that again. What in the actual... Yeah, that's not right. Oh, I know why, I forgot to install Figlet. Got to install Figlet. That's why, and I didn't do it. Let's try that again. So there's what I was expecting to see. Nice. Okay, let's quickly review that. <laughs> package install, let's do this because it's easier to see it. So package install dynamic MOTD and figlet. 
you need both those packages. I've got them both installed now, so it's going to say no new versions, most recent versions in installed. <laughs> I forgot Figlet. How can I forget Figlet? What a wally. It's even there in the instructions. So once you've done that, you need to copy the dynamic. You need to copy the rc.motd and the motd.subr into user local etc. Once you've done that, disable the uh, system MOTD with update MOTD equals no and then dynamic MOTD equals yes. And then start it. Service dynamic underscore MOTD start. <laughs> Once that's there, you get that lovely MOTD with ASCII-ish text for your domain name. And I like that. It's a little bit better. And then you get fair amount of information but it's useful information rather than handbooks and and all of that what you've got is information about the machine you're on which is much better in my opinion well there we go what was supposed to be a nice and easy one has turned out to be a stupid one because i bashed my head on the window frame just now <laughs> what a plum so there we go nice and easy dynamic motd just a silly little thing Drop a share, make a comment, click subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.